Glory be to the Lord in the highest height. We bless the name of the Lord. And remember, God is trusting on you. God is looking up to you. Don't betray him. Don't betray him by what you say, by what you do, by your actions, your reactions. Don't betray him by not trusting him or doing his will. The Lord help us. And we want to thank God for the day of the 11th month. God is gracious. Thank you, Jesus, for the privilege of life. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the privilege of life. It's only the living that can praise you. And it is not a right, but it's a privilege. Thank you for this privilege. Our prayer today again that you please send your word to us, speak to us, and bless your name, O God, in our lives. In Jesus' precious name, amen. So, friends, we want to bless the name of the Lord. Today, we want to, uh, it's a question, we want to talk about things that will happen. The year is coming to an end. In fact, if you calculate it well, in less than 58 days, it will be another year. In, rather, in about 58 days, it will be another year. And certain people will have looked back and say, this year, what have I achieved? This year, what have I achieved? There's a tendency that we begin to take wrong decision. Don't take any decision under duress. Don't take any decision without praying through, without thinking it through, and without thought to cancel. Some time ago, I saw some recording of some people depressed and then jumping in. So somebody said they accused him wrongly, so he went and killed himself. Has that changed anything? Somebody said that, oh, no, he's tired of life. He went and killed himself. They were even begging him, Sir, when there is light, there is hope. Our former president, Good Lord Jonathan, said some time ago, when he was campaigning, he said he had no shoe. And the man that had no shoe ruled this country for six years. And many more people like that, when they tell you their story, you see, in a little while, just carry on. And give your life to Jesus. Jesus is the hope of glory. Jesus is the way out. You, you need Jesus to fulfill your purpose. The Lord will help us. So this morning, our test, our topic is pressured. Are you under pressure? That's why. Pressured. And that's our test. I'm going to read our test is from 2 Corinthians 4, 17 and 18. And I'm reading the easy to read version. The Bible says, we have small troubles. No matter how big the trouble is, it is small trouble. That's the truth. It is us that project it and make it big. See, we have small troubles for a while now. But these troubles are helping us gain an eternal glory. That, that eternal glory is much greater than the trouble than our troubles. So, we think about what we cannot see, not what we can see. What we see lasts only a short time. And what we cannot see will last forever. And that's just the truth. Everybody has something, some issue they are going on with. But what you do about your issue determines a lot of things. Look at what the Bible says in Romans chapter 8. If you read from verse 35. You see, can anything separate us from Christ's love? Can trouble or problem or persecution, can all these things separate us from the love of Christ? He said, mm, if we have no food or clothes or face change, or even death, will that separate us from his love? As the scripture says, for you, we, for your sake, we are in danger of death all the time. People think we are worth no more than she to be killed. Friends, what is the solution to this pressure? What is the, what makes you, when you are going through pressure, what, are, what will make you to be able to stand it and overcome it? Hebrews 12, verse 1 and 2. 
he says, maybe I should just paraphrase that. He says, we are compassed about by a cloud of witness. So, say, let us do what Jesus did. When he was faced with trouble, he didn't allow the trouble to get to him. So, let us look unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Friends, I plead with you, your tomorrow is going to be greater, better, lovelier, worth the while. All these challenges, they are taking you somewhere. God bless you. Remember, Jesus is the way the truth and the life is the hope of glory. We'll see you again tomorrow. God bless you.